Question 1. What is Android? Answer. Android is a stack of software for mobile devices which has operating system, middleware and some key applications. The application executes within its own process and its own instance of Dolwick virtual machine. Many virtual machines run efficiently by a DVM device. DVM executes Java languages bytecode which later transforms into DEX format files. Question 2. Explain about the exceptions of Android. Answer. The following are the exceptions that are supported by Android Inflate exception. When an error conditions are occurred, this exception is thrown. Surface dot out of resource exception. When a surface is not created or resized, this exception is thrown. Surface holder dot bad surface type exception. This exception is thrown from the lock canvas method. When invoked on a surface whose is surface underscore type underscore push underscore buffers. Window manager dot bad token exception. This exception is thrown at the time of trying to add view an invalid window manager dot layout paramus token question 3 why to use Android answer Android is useful because it is simple and powerful SDK licensing distribution or development fee is not required easy to import third-party Java library supporting platforms are Linux Mac OS Windows question 4 describe Android application architecture answer Android application architecture has the following components services like network operation intent to perform intercommunication between activities or services resource externalization such as strings and graphics notification signaling users light sound icon notification dialog etc content providers they share data between applications question 5 what are the features of Android answer components can be reused and replaced by the application framework optimized DVM for mobile devices SQ Lite enables to store the data in a structured manner supports GSM telephone and Bluetooth Wi-Fi 3G and edge technologies the development is a combination of a device emulator debugging tools memory profiling and plug-in for Eclipse IDE question 6 are the Android releases available in a ROM answer no Android is not yet available in a ROM format currently Android is installed by using a cleaner SD card and booted from there it is booted by running a special application called Harade.x residing on your SD card which will terminate the Windows kernel and boot into Linux slash Android. It can't easily be run from ROM because a it's too experimental to risk putting in ROM and then killing a device and b Winmo does some hardware initialization that isn't documented but is needed before Android can run. Question 7. Can you play Android 2.1 games on Android 2.2? Answer. No. As I have a 2.2 Android phone, it's very hard to find games for it. The 2.2 Android will not be able to support that type of game. Question 8. What is Android Runtime? Answer. Android includes a set of core libraries that provides most of the functionality available in the core libraries of the Java programming language. Every Android application runs in its own process, with its own instance of the Dolwick virtual machine. Dolwick has been written so that a device can run multiple VMs efficiently. The Dolwick VM executes files in the Dolwick executable .dex format which is optimized for minimal memory footprint. The VM is register-based, and runs classes compiled by a Java language compiler that have been transformed into the DEX format by the included DX tool. Question 9. Creating an Android application using the Eclipse plugin? Answer. Using the Android Eclipse plugin is the fastest and easiest way to start creating a new Android application. The plugin automatically generates the correct project structure for your application and keeps the resources compiled for you automatically. It is still a good idea to know what is going on though. Take a look at overview of an Android application to understand the basics of how an Android application works. It is also recommended that you take a look at the API demos application and the other sample applications in the samples slash folder in the SDK. Finally, a great way to start it with Android development in Eclipse is to follow both the Hello Android and Notepad code tutorials. In particular, the start of the Hello Android tutorial is an excellent introduction to creating a new Android application in Eclipse. Question 10. Can I write code for Android using C++? Answer. 
Android applications are written using the Java programming language. Android includes a set of core libraries that provides most of the functionality available in the core libraries of the Java programming language. Every Android application runs in its own process with its own instance of the Dolwick virtual machine. Dolwick has been written so that a device can run multiple VMs efficiently. The Dolwick VM executes files in the Dolwick executable .dex format, which is optimized for minimal memory footprint. The VM is register-based and runs classes compiled by a Java language compiler that have been transformed into the DEX format by the included DX tool. Android only supports applications written using the Java programming language at this time. Question 11. What is the TTL time to live? Why is it required? Answer. TTL is a value in data packet of Internet Protocol. It communicates to the network router whether or not the packet should be in the network for too long or discarded. Usually, data packets might not be transmitted to their intended destination within a stipulated period of time. The TTL value is set by a system default value which is an 8-bit binary digit field in the header of the packet. The purpose of TTL is it would specify certain time limit in seconds for transmitting the packet header. When the time is exhausted, Exhausted, the packet would be discarded. Each router receives the subtracts count when the packet is discarded and when it becomes zero. The router detects the discarded packets and sends a message. Internet control message protocol message back to the originating host. TTL time to live. Apart from determining the lifetime of a packet in a network also helps in avoiding the wastage of bandwidth. Question 12. How is 9 patch image different from a regular bitmap? Answer. It is a resizable bitmap resource that can be used for backgrounds or other images on the device. The 9-patch class permits drawing a bitmap in 9 sections. The 4 corners are unscaled. The 4 edges are scaled in one axis. And the middle is scaled in both axes. 